Hey, you guys. <laughs> Woo, child. Happy Labor Day, girl. So I'm out in these streets, girl, early in the morning. Um, I was on my way to Walmart, but then my son called, said he was ready at the uh, barber shop. So um, I'm on my way to pick him up. And once I, my husband dropped him off at the barber shop, so I'm gonna pick him up. And then once I pick him up and drop him back off at the at the house, then I'm gonna go to Walmart. Cause girl, uh. so I finished up most of my shopping turn these things off wait a minute y'all i finished up most of my shopping yesterday and um yeah so um yeah y'all so i had put the little wig cap thing on my head like I made it kind of flat so i'm gonna let it just naturally fall down i just laid my little edges down uh, um so y'all gonna follow me again today, child. I want to know why gas prices is two sixty-five per gallon. Okay, can we discuss gas prices in the uh, comment section? Okay, it's two fifty-nine here, but two sixty-five is the highest I've seen it so far. And I know that the gas prices are high because of the possibility of the war that may be going on with South Korea, and also you know with the, the situation in Texas because that's where we we get our oil from okay so he said he was at the um yeah the prices I mean the oil we get our oil from Texas and you know they, they flood it out and they, they having a hard time getting gas down there let alone getting gas shipped to other places um so yeah let's talk about gas prices how much is your gas prices in your area tell me what state you live in and how much y'all gas is okay let's talk about that oh there we go okay I'm sorry y'all I was in the dirt um So happy Labor Day. I don't know if any of you all know what Labor Day is all about. Um, I know for a long time I had no clue. All I knew is Labor Day when I was in school was a day off from school. And when I was working way back when it was a day off from work. But girl, Labor Day got a bloody history to it, okay? But Labor Day is in honor of all uh, working U.S. Americans, okay? Um, because way back in the 1800s, um, they had a huge strike and riot going on, okay? Um, you had workers, it was like 37,000 strikes that went on back in the 1800s. Reason being is because they had cut wages like 30%, okay? So you had like 37,000 people striking as a result of that. You had like 800 people that got killed. That's why they say it's a bloody uh, pass to Labor Day. You had 800 people that died as a result of those strikes. People, you know, strikes and riots, you know, people be fighting and getting killed. And, you know, they had like over 80, 80 million dollars worth of damage. So them people carried on. But can you imagine 37,000 strikes from workers going on all at one time? So that was a mess back in the 1800s. But then, uh, President Cleveland, right after that strike, after that uh, big, huge strike and riot went on, President Cleveland signed a bill making uh, the first Monday uh, in September um, a national holiday, Labor Day national holiday. He signed this way back in the eight, between 1800 and 1900. Okay, so a lot of people don't know what Labor Day is all about, but that's what it was about. You had workers and unions on one side, and then you had employers, state and employ what is it, state and employers on the other side, and they were fighting against each other because they had dropped wages like 30%. So all you have to do is Google it if you want like the full detailed story on it, just Google it and you'll you'll find out what Labor Day is about. But for a long time I had no clue, girl. But Google is our friend, girl. All right, y'all. So let me get going. I got to get my son. I thought this is where he said pick him up from. Because he was at the barber shop. He started walking. He, well, he walked up to the 7-Eleven that was nearby, I guess, to get something. And he said pick him up from there. But all right, let me go. I will I will come back at y'all um, 
when I get to Walmart, okay? We're going to have a uh, follow mama around the day. My husband is home cooking on the grill for the day. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go hit out Walmart while it's early. Get this out the way so I can spend time at home with my family. All right, y'all. Bye. School start tomorrow, girl. Mm. <laughs> All right, hold on, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next clip. It's like stupid to make the thing go high. Oh, get it. It's like stupid to make it out of sight. Yeah. Oh, get it. <laughs> All right, let me turn this down if I get a copyright. <laughs> okay, I was jamming a little bit. Okay, so I picked my son up. Actually, it was my son and his uh, his buddy. They went to the barber shop together, so I had to drop his buddy off one place. Then I had to drop my son off another place because he didn't want to go home. So Mama is still chauffeuring and being the soccer mom and all of that, even on Labor Day, girl. You don't even get a rest on Labor Day, girl. So finally, okay, I'm on my way to Walmart. <laughs> Child work is never done. Mm, mm, mm. All right, y'all. So let me go. I'm gonna um, go ahead and uh, get this thing popping. When I'm with you, I'm gonna get it popping. <laughs> That's my thought. Wow, wow, wow thoughts. Wow, wow, wow. When I'm with you, all I get is wow thoughts. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> but I say it my way. When I'm with you, I'ma get it popping. <laughs> my kids laugh when I say the wrong words. <laughs> Cause I just do me. I make up my own shit. Alright, y'all, let me go. It's a nice day out here. Girl, it is a beautiful day in Zamunda, girl. Yes, it is. Very nice. Not too cold, not too hot. I think my son told me it's gonna be like 78 degrees today. So that's wonderful weather if, you, if you're having a cookout today. We're not having like a cookout. I mean, my husband is cooking on the grill. It's not like, you know, we got having, no, you know, like a party or a bunch of people going over, you know, coming over. None of that. It's just a, you know, he's just cooking on the grill. And it's just us. Because that's what we do. All right, let me put this phone down, girl, if I, I, I get a ticket, girl, fooling around. And I will see y'all at Walmart, okay? All right, girl, bye. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next clip. Oh, my God. That gas is 273 Now, that's the highest. The first clip I said gas, the highest I saw was 265 Well, I just passed the gas station at the NOCO. 273 a gallon. Can we please talk about that in the comments section? Please tell me what state y'all live in and uh, how much y'all gas is. Because I'm, I'm hurt. I'm butthurt about this gas. This, this gas price. Continue to pray for them people down in Texas. Like the death toll is steadily going up. They're still talking about if these houses stay underwater any much, you know, any longer, the, the whole structure frame and everything is going to be gone. Like they're going to have to build from the ground up. So um, I did donate to the Red Cross um, the other day. Was it Saturday? Saturday. Um, so yeah, if any kind of way you can donate to help those people out, please do. Because you never know when a natural disaster could hit your area. Even if it's not known for having uh, hurricanes and stuff like that in your area, girl. You just never know what's going to happen, girl. These days, the weather is so unpredictable. So help if you can, child. Because you might need that help one day. All right, y'all, let me, let me go. I'll, I'll talk to y'all in the next clip. Hey, you guys. So, they was stuck in the bank machine. Thank God they had a drive through ATM out here where I was going. I don't know if it's Okay, y'all, I made it to Walmart. The parking lot seems awfully crowded <laughs> for uh, a Monday and a Labor Day holiday. So I guess everybody last minute. 
But um, child, the okay. So I was I passed another gas station, two seventy five a gallon. Girl, I'm looking for the highest, cause I'm just like amazed. So I'm gonna go on this Walmart. Let me see if y'all can see it. I don't know if y'all can see, but I'm at Walmart. And um, when I get in there, I'm going to, you know, turn the camera and let y'all see how crowded it is. Or it ain't. I think it's crowded, though. All right, y'all. So, I'll see y'all in the next clip. The last clip, um, I'm sorry if the wind... I don't know if y'all was able to hear me. I won't know until I go back and, and review the video before I upload it. I don't know if the wind had got y'all. I was at the bank machine. And um, I was saying I was glad that they had a drive through because I had forgot to go to the machine before I got all the way out here. But thank God they had my bank out here and it was a drive through so i was happy about that girl i like drive throughs girls drive throughs because i'm lazy girl i'm lazy <laughs> all right y'all hold on i'll I see y'all in the next clip in walmart girl girl but it's a beautiful day in zamunda yes girl bye <laughs> hold on <laughs> okay so i'm entering walmart Kind of dark fit. Yeah, here we go. Give me the light. Okay. Nice little crowd in here. Just considering the fact that it's Labor Day. So, girl, yes, <laughs> school supply. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I just wanted to. Come back at y'all when I'm finished. I will um, hit y'all up. See you on the next clip. See, I'm not the only one. See, people getting school supplies and stuff. Girl. So I don't feel bad about my procrastinating stuff. My husband will talk about um, yesterday when I had said that I'm a procrastinate. I said, but it was other people out there procrastinate too because it was crap. When I went to the second mall yesterday, now I didn't come to y'all when I got to the second mall, the Galleria Mall, after my husband and son had gotten the car. Child, when I tell you that that mall was wall to wall people, okay? Child, that mall was packed on a Sunday. So I believe that everybody and their mama procrastinated. <laughs> So, my husband fixed me breakfast this morning in big, girl. I had me an egg, ham, and cheese sandwich on toast. And this sure was good, girl. He spoils me. All right, y'all, let me go. I got to do this shopping and get out of here so I can go home. All right, hold on, y'all. See y'all in the next clip. Hey, you guys. So, I'm still in Walmart. Um, I have a supervisor doing a price check for me. The price said one thing back there, but my receipt said something else, so... Um, and then I accidentally picked up the wrong paper, child. It was the, um, 100 sheets wide roll. And I thought it said 97 cents a pack. Child, I'm glad I looked at my receipt. It was $3.47 for a pack of college roll 100 sheets. Girl, bye. And I had two packs. So $6 and change for two packs of paper. So I gotta go back. I gotta go to the customer service window and get that straight. But I did pick up the right pack. This is a deal. They had 500 sheets for $2.50. So, I got two, two of those. I've never seen 500 sheets in a pack. So that was really cheap. So I'm just waiting for the supervisor to come with this price straight on something else that I had purchased. So I'll be in the car soon. Um, I'm done shopping. I just need to get something straight at customer service. And then I'll be out of here. It's crowded. Yeah, so. Ooh, child, I'm tired. There's a lot of people in here all day for that. So, just sitting here, girl. I got on my orange. Um, leggings with my little pot. I'm just sitting here waiting. All right, y'all. I'll be talking to y'all when I get back in the car, girl. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. All right. See y'all. 
Okay, guys, so I was right. Um, the supervisor went over there and saw that they charged me a different price than what the tag said. So, y'all know I told y'all before about the Erie County situation. Like, if they got the wrong uh, price tag, well, if they got a price tag up, but they charge you a different price than what the price tag said, then you get 10 times the amount that they overcharged you. So, um, they charged me $8.96. And the price tag said six dollars and twenty cents. So that's like two dollars and change. If they overcharged me times ten, because y'all been following me, y'all so aware. Anyway, because I live in Erie County, you get ten times the amount that they overcharge you. So once it's all said and done, I'll come back and let y'all know how much uh, they had to pay me for overcharging me. Okay, all right, girl, bye, get you some. <laughs>